Now let's talk about the force on a vertical plate which is flat and it is moving and the movement is in the direction of the jet. So this is the flat plate on which a jet which is coming with a velocity v is striking the plate. Now in this particular case the jet is not striking the plate with a velocity v because v is the absolute velocity of the jet. But you have this plate which is moving in this direction with a velocity u. So you will have a relative motion in between the jet and the plate. So you will have a relative velocity. So capital V is the absolute velocity of jet and V minus u is the velocity of jet with respect to plate. So in this particular case the jet is striking the plate with this velocity not the absolute velocity. Okay. So from here we can say that the mass flow rate per second or mass flow rate per second striking the plate, striking the plate that is equal to what? That is equal to density into area into the velocity with which it strikes the plate which is v minus u in this case. Okay, v is the absolute velocity of jet and u is the velocity of the plate. So when it strikes it with this velocity it comes out with the same velocity as well. So jet is being you know, moved out in the same direction or in the same velocity v minus u. Now the force exerted would be F which is nothing but the mass flow rate and the change of momentum d by dt of p where p is the momentum. So you will have, so you have taken the m dot so there is no need to put your dt over here. So it will be m dot, the initial velocity is v minus u and the final becomes 0. So this becomes rho a into v minus u into v minus u which would give you rho a into v minus u whole square. That is the force which is exerted by the jet onto this moving plate with a velocity u. Now because it is moving also so there will be some work done. So work done by the jet on the plate is force into the velocity that is u or I would say it is the work done per second. So it will be force into the distance covered per second. So this would be rho into a into v minus u whole square into u. So that is the work done per second. Okay, so I hope you have got this now. It is pretty easy to understand. After this flat plate in a vertical position, let us move to the next video and talk about a flat plate which is moving in a inclined position.